Hi, if you're watching as these videos come out, it's Earth Day, so happy Earth Day. And welcome to lesson two of our beginner to intermediate series. Today we're going to be looking at how we can add a buffer to a track line. However, a buffer could be used in any situation at all, really. Um, please keep remember to like, subscribe, and most importantly, share these videos. Please let as many people know as possible so that we can help them during the coronavirus. Thank you very much and bye. Okay, so far I've loaded in my Thailand country file and I've loaded in my track lines. So the track lines are just down here in the southwest of Thailand. Uh, and I can just zoom to layer to show the area that we're working in. Just going to zoom out a tiny bit more just to give it a bit of context. Okay, great. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is just make sure that our coordinate reference system is suitable. Um, we always want to be working, whenever we're working with area or distance, we want to be working in a unit that we can use easily, like kilometers or nautical miles, for example. Um, and we have to be in a projected coordinate system to be able to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to project and properties. And then under CRS, I'm just going to choose a suitable CRS. Generally, you'll be given a coordinate reference system to use. But if you're in doubt at any point, then uh, one of the UTM zones is normally suitable. So we're going to use UTM zone 47N. N because it's in the Northern Hemisphere. And just press apply and OK. By the way, if you're struggling to find that, you can just uh, type in the ESPG code at the top. So it's so just in this bit that says filter, you can type in 32647 and it will come up for you. Okay, so this is our boat track line. And this is the line that we followed during our boat survey to try and give us a good survey coverage. Uh, this is just a fictitious line, but you can actually make these lines to make sure you're covering as unbiased of an area as possible using sampling programs like Distance. Um, and we're going to look at creating a survey area for the area that we've covered here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to add a buffer to this line. And that's because, yes, we followed this line, but imagining that we've had a decent sighting platform and we've had decent weather conditions then we might estimate that we could see a lot further than this line itself and so how are we going to do that is we're going to go to vector and we get geoprocessing tools and click buffer so vector geoprocessing tools and buffer and we're going to be using the input layer track lines obviously because these are you know these are our track lines um, I'm going to use kilometers and I'm going to use five kilometers. We're going to say we had a reasonable sighting platform. I'm just going to change the end cap style to flat and leave the rest of the leave the rest of the um, options as they are. Okay, so I'm just going to click run, and you'll see quite quickly that we've got a buffer that goes extends further than our track lines you can just move the buffer layer down so that you can see it see it there you go and you can see our track lines in the middle and then the buffered layer around it and this buffered layer just shows that what what our sighting range is 